This is RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. In this edition, we explore the 2020 uh, Tiffin Vanley Villano 385RD, a very nice and luxurious fifth wheel. It has a 42 foot, uh, 4 inch length. It has a cargo carrying capacity of 3,400 pounds, fresh water capacity of 70 gallons. I shot this video in 4K for your visual pleasure. In the back, they have two 74 inch trifold sofas and also a 60 inch theater sofa, and of course, a great TV. In the middle there, we have the dining area and the galley. Next to that is the restroom, and up front, a very nice and luxurious bedroom. As we start out in the front, we can see the Rotoflex pin box. And to the right there in that uh, storage bay, you can add a generator if you wish. You can have it prepped for a generator. I'm visiting Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world. Right there, they have prepped it for two batteries, but of course you can add as many batteries as you want. Uh, that setup is for lead acid. You can also add, of course, an upgraded lithium system. As you can see from the side here, they have three slides and plenty of storage. Over here you have controls for the water and also for the antenna and the filtration system. And they have a little shower head there that you can uh, clean your legs, your feet, the dog, the children, or whatever you want with that little shower one. You can winterize, and of course you have a tank flush. Let's check out the front pass-through storage. It's a pretty good size. And that box right there, I do not know what's going on. That's a question for your dealership or for the folks at Van Lay. Let me close this door. Notice the metal uh, locks. Not plastic, again, metal. On each side of this unit, you get a 30 pound uh, propane tank and of course, uh, leveling jacks all the way around. There's your water heater and your furnace. Of course, this unit has a heated and enclosed underbelly and there you can see the rack and pinion slide mechanism for this larger slide right here. Plenty of storage back there. You get two beautiful rims. These, I love these rims. They're nice and shiny. And of course they have the uh, Westlake tires. All aluminum uh, construction for the frame. And you have uh, receptacles on the left and plenty of storage all the way through and to the right. They sequester two sections here on the left and right side uh, where you can put some items like ladders, etc. And there's a motorized 50 amp cord. Let's check out the back. Let me back up a little more so you can see these slides. Three slides on this side and two on the other. The windows, of course, are all jealousy type, uh, awning style. Uh, frameless as they call them, windows. Tinted of course. This slides out for your, uh, uh, you know, make it easy for you to access whatever you have in there. You don't have to crawl in there. Again, 3,400 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Some units have a lot of space, but they can't carry it. This unit has space plus the capacity for, uh, you know, carrying it down the road. As we pan up, you can see the uh, ladder to go to the roof. So you can uh, check your seals, make sure everything's okay upstairs. And if you have solar panels, if you add some solar panels, uh, you can clean them off. Here's the storage bays on this side, the, you know, the passenger side. And there's the pass-through storage. All these pistons that they uh, use here uh, for this product are of a high quality. They actually can support the doors. Some manufacturers have weak pistons and the door ends up uh, slamming you on top of your head, and that's not a good experience. Let's go towards the front. 
And again, you have a 30 pound propane tank on this side, and there's that pass through storage we talked about earlier. On this side, you have some controls for the uh, Dirt Devil uh, vacuum system, some receptacles and controls, and access for a TV antenna and some of your tools. There's your battery shutoff switch, and of course, your clean sine wave inverter. There's quite a few options for this unit. Uh, you have to contact your uh, salesperson and, or the manufacturer to find out what's available uh, each year. Each year they change and uh, you know progress marches on. There's the Lippert Solid Steps. They uh, reduce the amount of jounce and bounce when you enter and access uh, exit your unit. We're now inside the unit. There's the dining room table with the uh, solid surface uh, tabletop. Let me pan around to the right side. Right there, something unique, something unusual, a uh, wine storage area. My wife would appreciate that. You have a row of three drawers there and some storage on the right. So what do you think of the tones of the wood? This is a lighter tone wood. They have darker tones. You have a wide variety of options for this unit. You can make it your own fifth wheel. Under the center island, they have some accent lights. Very nice. And right over here, they have a three burner cooktop and an oven. I like the fact that these are cast iron grates. What do you think? This unit has two stainless steel bowls and there, uh, the one on the left is definitely big enough for a plate to get cleaned or a pot to get cleaned. Uh, they didn't uh, cheap out and give you some strange materials. This is high quality stainless steel and of course solid surface countertops and a nice faucet too. There's a view of the microwave, a convection microwave at that. Here's the residential refrigerator. Has plenty of freezer storage and refrigeration storage. What do you think of that backsplash? And of course that storage right there. I'm gonna open it all up for you just so you can check it out. Storage goes back about eight inches in some cases up to you know, about a foot. I like the fact that they use a solid wood fronts, uh, plywood box construction for the cabinets, and uh, all metal glides. High quality components. The only thing you can, they can add if they wanted to is maybe soft clothes and uh, dovetail joinery. That's the backsplash. I like the look. I like that look. As we pan up, you can see the wood they use in this uh, design. Uh, they have, again, different options. You decide what you want. There are the vents and the lights. Let's go into the living space. Of course you have two sofas, both of them are uh, you know convert to beds and right there is a big screen 50 inch TV with the entertainment system of course. This is the darker tone for the uh, fabrics and of course the lighter tones for the cabinetry. An interesting combination they decided for this unit. Of course you could have light with light, dark with dark is your choice. I sat in these chairs, they were super comfortable. I really enjoyed it. I have no complaints about this unit. That's uh, the best seats in the house where you can sit right in front of the TV. Of course you have a lighted cup on the left. You have uh, controls for your light and also for your receptacles, they have receptacles there. And of course, an area for two cups and controls for the uh, incline and recline of this unit. They keep it nice and simple. They have the uh, spider multiplex uh, system that controls the lights and also checks your tanks. As you pass right there, it's on the left. We're now in the bedroom. There's a TV in the bedroom and of course, the closets. The bedroom features a gel mattress, memory foam mattress, 70 by 80 inch, and there's the ancillary controls for the lights. And they have USB and uh, 
110 receptacles on each side. Let's go inside the closet, take a quick peek, but first I have to turn on the lights. There's a storage area right there, a little uh, shelf, and down here they have little bin areas, and of course, areas where you can just hang your clothes. Nicely finished. There are options. Again, there's tons of options for this unit. You can always add a, a you know, washer dryer right there. Don't forget your kind and friendly comments are always appreciated on this channel. I really like the wood finish. It has a nice little glaze to it. There's a little storage area where you can put your uh, clothing or special items. Again, they have uh, all metal glides, solid wood fronts, and plywood boxed construction. Let's head to the restroom, immediately to the right. Solid surface countertops, porcelain bowl sink, and a nice looking faucet, very modern and contemporary design. Storage down there so you can put your toilet chemicals or chemicals to clean the area. I would recommend that. And of course the shower stall is fantastic. That's a thick and sturdy one piece fiberglass shell. There should be no issues with water intrusion on that unit. Of course the skylight and up there they have a nice fan. Please like, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. This goes back quite a ways. It goes back about a foot. This is a significant storage, probably for towels and other things that you find uh, that you need to use in the restroom. Here's the medicine cabinet. It goes back at a certain interesting angle. Again, a great place for your toothpaste, toothbrush, and your various uh, self-maintenance items. Another shot of the sink. I really like this sink. It ain't no cheap sink. Got a, budget sink that's a high quality sink so let's head to the living room i hope you like this video don't forget to uh, always uh, check out this channel when you get a chance i would appreciate it this has been a you know walking tour of a 2020 villano 385 rd if you have a chance uh, check out my photography website jmmgarza.com from fort worth texas this has been asus manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adiós. Bye-bye.